Hey guys, it is Minecraft Finest here, and I am back with some more redstone for noobs. And I know I haven't been really doing any videos lately on the redstone for noobs, and it's basically because I am on vacation and currently still am. And same thing with our channel. If we don't upload like every day, if it takes like an extra day to upload, it's because I'm on vacation, so we have to have Max and Jordan do video probably sometimes, or find the right time to do an ultimate survival islands and also thank you guys for all the positive feedback on that so here I'm going to show piston doors they're not necessarily hidden but it just opens up so you got like your own little doorway probably in the next episode we're gonna have hidden pistons and usually it's like up and down pistons it's kind of hard to explain now but it's what we had to do on some of our doors for the custom map we're currently building so it's pretty simple. I have a three high, I like it having three high, and they just open the pressure plate. You can have either stone or anything, a button somewhere. You just gotta hook up the redstone. So let's get to sh showing you how to build it. So I'm gonna do the three piston high one. I like how that one's set up. So you have your three pistons that they're gonna have to be pulled out basically all the time to have those blocks sticked out so this is gonna be a space taken up and the door will be right here so put a one far away and fly up and get that alright then you're gonna have to place redstone I'm just gonna replace the block so it's easy for you guys to know where redstone is being placed some of you might have it in the sky or something um so you have this and then underneath this block, you're going to want to put a redstone torch. So as you can see, pistons are out at the block, touching the block. So then when we step on the pressure plate, it reverses this signal. And they're going to pull in, and your doorway opens. So now we're going to do the same thing to this side. And, oh, crap. Uh, let's place it up here and do the same thing with the torch and as you can see they're both out and you're gonna have blocks here to hide it now what we're gonna have is the pressure plates right here so we're gonna go here dig down one more so we can hide the redstone underneath the dirt and we're gonna just go to where the pressure plates are going to be just dig our way over here so it's going to be right underneath this and start laying down your redstone like this but over here this you want to have it like heading towards it if I did this it would be heading towards this block right here so it wouldn't work so you want to have it like this and then dig basically around this so you this is heading straight at it so it'll work I'll show you an example so if I put something on the pressure plate it works now if I do it the other way uh, I gotta get some redstone uh, here we go if I do it this way and then step on the pressure plate it does not work and I'll show you why as you can see this isn't sending the signal to this block it's actually sending it to this one I mean I don't know why it does that but it's just how the game is so just gotta make sure you do this because if it's not working make sure you check that area because usually that could be the problem so let's do the same thing over here dig up to our pressure plates and make sure you do the little hoop thing right here and connect it underneath so they can be touching it doesn't matter and then the door works now if you want to do it to the other side also you simply just got to do the same thing to the other side and you actually don't need repeaters because the signal it's not long enough for it to lose it so that's kind of good because I know some people don't like using repeaters on anything so you can just took it off right here do the hoop and head it over here just place it down 
Let's do this same thing over here real quick. Actually, I didn't have to. Don't forget the hoops. That could be a problem. All right, and we'll just use stone pressure plates here. As you can see, it works. So you can just go through, have room over here, door closes behind you, same thing over here. Um, and then you can just tie it in and everything. So that's basically how you do these piston doors. Uh, they're pretty cool. We're using them a lot in our custom app, so they come in handy. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to show you the vertical pistons where those can be hidden. And, or like a hidden wall basically, because that's what you have it set up. And also in the comments below, see, just suggest certain things you want to do. Like, a lot of you have been suggesting the note blocks and making a song, but I really I mean, I know how to like set up to make a song, but I can't really make a song because I'm not like musical or whatever. I don't know how to set that thing up. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. There's plenty of tutorials on that also. So just down in the comments, do suggest, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.